Hello, dear friends of the internet. It is me, Edward. And today, I thought I'd take a look and see how much it costs to send money using Bitcoin versus how much it costs to send money using Dash. Now, Dash offers some things that Bitcoin does not, such as instant transactions and mixing. But I'm only going to look at simple transactions and instant transactions with Dash. I'm not going to look at mixing today or uh, private send as it's called. So we're only going to look at these two things. Uh, I don't use Bitcoin, but I found a website that gives the results of transactions based on how much people were willing to pay. Uh, with transactions, you can look or you can actually set the amount you're going to pay. Uh, Dash is no different. You can do the same thing. Uh, the problem with Bitcoin is when you pay a really low fee, as you can see up here in the orange areas where people paid low fees, it has the tendency to not actually confirm. So if you don't get any trans uh, transaction confirmations, your transaction didn't go through. So the more people paid, the more it got into the green, and based on that, they come up with what they consider to be a recommendation. They say the fastest and cheapest transaction fee is currently 220 satoshis per byte, shown in the green for the median transaction size of 226 bytes. This results in a fee of 49,720 satoshis. So... Uh, I made a spreadsheet here. You can see that I put in 49,720 Satoshis. Today's exchange rate in dollars is $1,030. And that means that a transaction like that costs 51 US cents. Uh, if you want to see the full fraction of a dollar, it is 0.512116. <clears throat> so really, it's just 51 cents. Um, of course, that depends. 51 cents, that's a lot of money when you compare it to transactions, say, for a debit card or a credit card. That happens to be a lot. So, gives you an idea of how much that costs. So, I, I did a transaction using my Dash wallet, just a simple transaction. I took the fee that was recommended at the time. I just clicked uh, here, the recommended fee, and sent. Uh, there was no instant send when I did it. I didn't use instant send. And the transaction that is in question is, which one here? This one right here. And so I sent 1.175, and the, what was remaining down here at the end, that is the fee. So looking at that in my spreadsheet, the fee is 86,980 uh, of the smallest unit possible, um, which comes out to be nine cents. So there you go, nine cents just to take the recommended fee. But I did compare that to some other things. I used instant send on another transaction uh, an instant send transaction was right here. I sent 0.1, and that added on 400,000 of the smallest unit. Some people call them duffs. Some people call them some satoshis. I like to call them dashies. But anyway, 400,000 works out to be 40 cents. 40 U.S. cents. I'm sorry, but I think that's a lot of money to spend. I don't think an instant transaction is worth 40 cents. I think they should reduce that. So I did a transaction using what is called the required fee. Um, here you can see that there's an option. You click custom and then pay only the required fee. And if you do that, in the case of sending 0 .0, uh, excuse me, I sent 0 0.1, um, it charged me 7,950 dashies. Satoshis, which comes out to be 0 0.007 cents, which is a penny. It's less than a cent of a US dollar. Okay, now you can check both boxes. It is possible to check private send and pay only the required fee, 
But if you do that, and I did send and I tested it out, it still came out to be 400,000 Satoshis, uh, dashies, whatever. But uh, 400,000 is 40 cents, uh, considering the price right now is 100 US dollars. I, again, 40 cents is too much. I don't think that a transaction either in Bitcoin or in Dash should ever be 40 cents. My own humble opinion. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon. This is Edward. Bye.